morning, friends. This is Stephanie of Stephanie's Yarn Escape. Thank you for joining me today for Yarn Stash Enhancer number 17. Um, in these episodes, I share with you the things that I have purchased or was gifted to me that I'm adding into my Yarny Fiber collection, being anywhere from patterns, books, yarn, all the things alike. Now, uh, I did go without showing for two weeks a yarn stash enhancing video. One week I didn't purchase anything, which I'm very proud of. The other week I was sick. So does that count? Yes, it counts. Well, me and my local yarny friend went shopping two Saturdays ago. Um, we wanted a, a steak dinner. That was our main goal. And um, she needed to get a few skeins of yarn. And I needed to get a few skeins of yarn. And I told my husband when I left the house, I only needed to get so-and-so colors. Does he really care? No. But it is what it is. And me and her, when we've gone yarn shopping, for the past handful of times, we haven't found anything. We've come home either empty-handed or very little. But usually, when me and her go, we, we go. Like, it's impulse buying is allowed uh whatever it's fair game and we get some food and we come home and on our way home we talk about the yarny goodness that we purchased so it's a fabulous day i enjoyed myself this was the day before i got sick because i got sick the next day um so i'm glad i got that in there before that happened because this yarn has been sitting um since i brought it home i did pull out a couple skeins which I'll explain later to use. Um, but I've been wanting to put it away and, you know, stuff like that. But now I get to, because that's exciting too, is putting it away into a spot probably to sit there for a couple years. That's okay. But yes, so I got some, some bags of goodiness to show you. I got um, some smile mail, uh, some care packages. And so we're just going to get right into it, okay? So our first trip, our first stop was Joann's. Yes, Joann's. Um, and I was after, and I've talked about this in my other regular episodes, the owl that I did. The body of the owl. Um, I'm really loving the plaid part that I did with the wine and the light rose. Um, I love those colors together. So I wanted, to, I kind of want to make a plaid blanket like that. So I purchased the yarn for it. Lots of rustling because everything's still in the bags. And I can't remember what kind of deals. Um, like I said, I got sick the next day, didn't record anything. So it's been over a week. So I don't remember what the deals were, but so I bought some of this big twist in this light rose. This is a four medium, hundred percent acrylic, 380 yards. And I bought the light rose and this is a wine. I love this wine color. So I bought two of each. And I was going to make something else, but I decided I'm going to make a plaid. So I'm either going to throw in some white or something. But I accidentally bought this. This is in soft gray. I accidentally bought that. It was in my hands. And I don't, like, we went to check out. And I'm like, I wasn't intending to buy the gray. And I bought the gray because it was in my hands. But that might look really cool as the plaid, the light color for the plaid part. But I think I'm kind of want to stick with like ivory or white. I'm not sure, but that would look kind of cool though. I don't know. It was an accident. You can't, I mean, it was an accident. But yes, I want to make a plaid blanket out of these colors here. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the bag. I guess I'm just going to get it back out of the bag here in a little bit. Put everything away okay then we went to Hobby Lobby and from Hobby Lobby I needed a few skeins of yarn 
that I wanted for my gnomes that I'm making for my knit machine. <laughs> so I did get a couple of the skeins out and I'll show you guys here. So but there's also a lot of impulse buying from Hobby Lobby. It was all impulse. Oh, uh, I'll show you. So I bought, I love this yarn in the color mint. I bought two skeins of this, but I've already got one out and have used it, which you'll see in my knit machine shenanigans episode later this week. Love. This is, this like screams spring to me. Just screams it. Love, 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 love. So I had two skeins of that. I also bought some of the linen color, but I also got one of these out as well too for my llama that I'm doing. Uh, yeah, this is linen. Did I, did I say the yardage or anything like that? I don't remember. Uh, 100% acrylic, 4 medium, 355 yards. So I got those. And then I also bought two skeins of this light gray. This is the body of my known color that I'm making from my knit machine. I've already also dug one of those out. So two of each of these colors that I've used up already. So there you go, right? And then the rest was impulse. It's okay. I bought two skeins of this terracotta color and I bought it because I really like the color. I was on a orange kick that day. Like these rusty oranges were just speaking to me. Loved. So I got two of those with no intention on that. Like I said, when me and her go yarn shopping, impulse buying is allowed. You buy it because you think it's pretty. And I did. Also from Hobby Lobby. Switch my bags around here. Now, I bought three skeins of this Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek Low Pill Fiber in this mustard color. And this is 232 yards, 100% Low Pill Acrylic for medium. So, I love this color. My knitting machine loves this Yarn Bee yarn. So, I want to do is whip a couple up on my knitting machine and then I want to crochet one as well too. Because that seems to be when I find this really pretty color that I like, um, I whip some up on my knitting machine and then I crochet one as well too. So that's the plan for that. <laughs> These next colors, strictly impulse. I think the next time I go over I'm going to get one more of each color. But I was looking uh, this Baby B Sweet Delight Prince in the colorway Patty Cake. Oh, look. Look at that green. Now, I think that I put it away. I did. Where did I put it? I'll be back in one second. Okay, so I made, I discovered something. So I bought two skeins of this. Let me tell you a little bit about it. This is in the color of Patty Cake. It is Baby Bee Sweet Delight Prince. It is a three light, 377 yards, 60% acrylic, 40% polyamide. It's so soft. So look at these colors. In my giveaway for Attack of the Game of Grooming 2022, it's the same thing in four medium. And I didn't even realize I, I never made a connection. I must love this color. The green's a little bit different, but not by much. It kind of even looks the same, but it's more vibrant on this one. Oh. Now, anyways. Uh, I only was realizing that because I, I'm recording everything on Sunday. Okay. So, and I just had this out to show it off for the, about the giveaway, uh, giveaway attack of the Amigurumi 2022. And I was like, wait a minute, it's the same color. There was another color there that I was eyeballing 
And I think the next time I'm go I go, I'm going to get it. But, um, um, I lost my train of thought. I got so excited. I got two of these and then I'm pairing it with toy elephant and cloudy. I think that would make a gorgeous baby set. So I got two of the cloudy and I got two of the toy elephant. Let me see if I can stack them up here. I can. So that right there, I think is going to make a gorgeous baby set. And I may go back and buy one more of each because I don't know. I don't want to run out. And of course, it's going to include a blanket, a sweater, a hat, a lovey, all those fantastic things. And I want to make sure I have enough. But there's this another colorway that I was going to get and I didn't. So I'll probably get it when I go back because I can't resist it. So that was my Hobby Lobby stop. Then we went to Michael's. Do we? No, we went to Michael's. And then we went and ate our steak dinner. Went to Michael's. More impulse buying. She was after a few skeins of Impeccable to finish up a project. And I'm like, well, I, I gotta buy something too. Because when I first walked in, I'm like, I, I bought enough. I don't need anything else. That went out the window the minute I walked in. So I bought some impeccable yarn. And I, so when I purchase, when I go yarn shopping and impulse buying is allowed. Usually when I go with her, it is allowed. Um, I try to get enough. So I go for, I look at colors. And then for some reason, which I noticed, me and her noticed that we both did this, is we see a color that we like. Then we try and pair it up with two other colors. Hence the Hobby Lobby. I found this color and then I paired it with two other colors. Don't know why we do that. And then we try and get enough for a blanket. In most cases, sometimes I know I'm going to make it for like an amigurumi or whatever. Then I get just that. But on our impulsing, when we don't know what we're making, this is what we do. We both do it. I don't know why we do it. It's something we both have done. Um, so I found this green color. This is impeccable. Uh, it's a four medium, hundred percent acrylic and it's the color grass. And there is 285 yards. This color caught my eye. So then I paired it up with some pale gray and some white. I think those three colors look so gorgeous together. And there's one of my hairs. There we go. I thought those three colors look gorgeous and I think it was buy one get one half off so I bought three of the white three of the gray and then I bought four of the green because you had to make it an even number but that's what we do like I the one color spoke to me and us and then we pair it up and then we buy large quantities of it for basically a like it. That's just what we do. We've both always done that and I don't know why, but we noticed that sat, uh, yeah, Saturday when we were shopping, we noticed that we did that. And then I also bought, <coughs> excuse me, this darning needle, this really long darning needle. Um, this is perfect for my imagurumi weaving and then these, those ends and hiding things and tails and stuff. So I got that. And then I said that I was feeling the orange that day. Like, so 
So this is very similar to the other orange that I bought. This is Craft Smart yarn. This is so soft. Um, Craft Smart, 100% acrylic for medium, 354 yards in the color clay. So I got two of those and I paired it, I only paired it with one other color because they only had so many colors with mushroom. So I bought two each of those because those buy one get one half off. So those two colors I really enjoyed together. The mushroom, these have different textures, which is going to drive me insane if I'm working with it. But they're both, this is super soft. I really, really like this color, which is very similar to the orange, the terracotta one that I bought from Hobby Lobby. But that's okay. It is what it is. Impulsing, impulse buying is allowed on our shopping days. And then I think we went and ate our steak dinner, got overly full, and then we called it a day and went home. I, am, I told my husband when I left, I was only going to purchase a few skeins of yarn that I needed for my gnomes. And like I said, he really don't care. And then when I come home, him and my do him and my daughter spent a day together. I come home with seven bags. Um, I, I, it happened. I said, I don't know what happened. We were just in the mood and we bought it. So that's okay. Um, what else? So I am keeping track of the yarn that I bring into the house because I'm keeping my labels to count them up at the end of the year, the labels and the yardage. But I'm also keeping track of the yarn I bring into the house. Um, I Every year I set the goal of using for my stash more. But this year, I cannot seem to stop buying. That's okay. But like with this Hobby Lobby one, I want the other colorway now too. So the next time I go over the mountain, which I go over quite often, I, I'm probably going to get that other colorway too because it's very pretty. So it is what it is. And who else, who knows what I'll end up with. Uh, what else? Now, I had made a hat on my knitting machine the other week. And the color is very, very pretty, which you'll see in my knit machine shenanigans. Um, but I, in my um, pom-pom collection, it's not, I'm trying to build up my pom-pom collection. I didn't have the right color to go with it. So I went on Etsy to this one lady. Um, I'll get the name for you here in a second. Palms and Stitches. There's her information. Um, she has some very unique colored pom-poms. I love them. I haven't ordered, this is the first time I ordered from her. And, um, it, I found two colors that I liked. So I ordered them. She has a little care instructions as well too for the pom-poms. And can I tell you, these pom-poms are the softest pom-poms I have ever felt. They need a little fluffing. This is, I believe this is, I don't think these are white. I'll have to look back. I got rid of my invoice. Why? I don't know. I think these are maybe ivory. I'm not sure. So I got two of these. They are so soft. Like I said, they need a little fluffing, but... They are the softest pom-poms I have ever felt. So I want to buy more. Um, and then I got this like silver gray color, which I think is what's going to go with the hat that I'm trying to match it up with. But my goodness, I'm the colors that she has on our website are so cute that I'm definitely going back for more. So this color here, I think is what I'm going to do with my hat, but I love these pom-poms. They are, like I said, the softest pom-poms I have ever touched. Like 
and then she has them on these long strings. I think you can request to be elastic. I'm not sure. This works for what I'm trying to do. But oh my goodness. Love, love, love. I'll be sure to link her down below because, like I said, you need to... <sighs> this is the first time I ordered from her. These are the only two pom-poms I've gotten. And I'm planning on placing an order. Like, I'm going to probably go on her website and find a brown to go with this. Or something to go with this. Um, this color here. So, definitely recommend that. What else? That's all I've ordered. That's all I've ordered and purchased. Now, I did receive two care packages from my Knit Night Girls. Like I said, I was very, very ill last week. Um, and so they sent me some care packages. Oh, I love them. Um, the one is from Deb. And I have already opened them because I wasn't expecting them. So I didn't know what was in them. Now, Deb Murray, <laughs> bless her, she always shoves these things in this bag and she does an amazing job. I love it. But she even sent Carlin a present. Now, my daughter. Now, she has it all packaged up here for her. And this is a little, now I've been holding this back. She's been waiting for me to record. But this is like a little house that she could put together. And she took it apart so she can um, fit it in the bag. So my daughter is already like waiting for me to, to stop playing with it, showing it off so she can mess with it and play with it. But also in the package, she put in a skein of Stitch Studio Earth Tones. Oh, look at these colors. Oh, it's this gray, which is my jam, with these... Um, Twitty bits of this brown and white. So pretty. Very excited. Very soft. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. For medium, 95% acrylic, 5% viscose. In the color gray. And there are 612 yards in this. So, so pretty. Thank you so much, Deb. I love it. And also in the package, she put two skeins of this Big Twist Vivid. Look at this color. Oh, it's so pretty. This is a three medium. Oh my goodness, everything's backwards. Light purple, light blue is the name of the color. Three hundred and eight yards, one hundred percent premium acrylic. She got me two of those. Look how pretty. Love, love, love. Thank you so, so much, Deb. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Love it, love it, love it. And my daughter can go on to her little craft. And then Lori, also my Knit Night friend, sent me a box. Um, inside, both of these, mind you, both of these present, these gifts truly made my day. They both came on different days. Um, I'm, like I said, was not feeling well and these made me feel better. You know what I mean? Just seeing that, just knowing that they put these items in these packages, thinking of me, knowing that I would love them. Oh, just love it. Just love it. So blessed right now. Very blessed. So inside this package, she put which I spent a very long time going through these five um, magazines of Crochet World. And I felt inspired by go going through these. And there's this one. There's this one. This one. And this one. Um, there's a couple things I want to do in these. I'm very excited. So probably going to be doing that sometime soon. And she also put in there some of these little uh, bunny stick markers, which 
I use post-its all the time. So I love these. I'm going to use these to mark these patterns that I do out of the books and stuff and marking my place. Love these. I always use stuff like that. A gorgeous card. Wishing me well. Um, a bag of teas, which I've already had some out of already. Um, tea was my friend this week. Um, thank you. Love it. She put some hot chocolate for my daughter in there as well, too. She's already dug into that. Um, she put in there these little, she made these stitch markers with the letter of the hook. Because that's what I go by. I don't go like, well, I make sure it's the right millimeter for what I'm doing. But I go by the letter. I don't have the millimeters. It was a whole conversation we had. So she gave me an H, an I. Look how cute. Oh, is it going to focus? Oh, look how cute. Hold on. H, I, and I. These are the ones I use the most. Oh, they're too cute. I love them. Thank you so, so much. Love, love, love. And then, <laughs> that's not all. She put in there a hank of this Parade Festa Summer Blend hand dyed yarn. Look at that color. Gorgeous. Love. Um, this is a fingering weight, 420 yards, 60% wool, 20% cotton, 10% silk, 10% linen. Spun and hand dyed in Japan. This is our color. Japur, I think. Oh, I just love this color. It's so pretty. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. And that's not all. It just keeps coming and going. She put in there these. Um, plucky knitter. It says a snug figuring, 389 yards, same percent merino, 20% cashmere, 10%, wait, what did I say? 20% cashmere, 10% alpaca. And this is the color twill, and this is the color broom. Oh my goodness. These are my jam. So pretty. there's more it just never ended it never ended then she also put in there some of these pins let's stick it adorable oh cheap a basket of yarn and little yarn balls with a crochet hook so cute love those and there's more guys I wasn't oh my goodness I was bored so she put these in here and I'm dying to wear these look at these socks are they the cutest thing ever I have a pair of her socks and they are one of my favorites. And um, I actually get compliments on them all the time. I wear Crocs at work. And so you can see they have holes. My Crocs have holes all over. And you can see the socks through. And then I wear scrub pants. So they lift up a little bit when I'm sitting. So you can see the, the socks a little bit. And people are always complimenting my socks when I wear them. And I have another pair. And I'm very excited about them. My feet are happy when I wear these. And I just love them. And I have another pair. And I'm so, so excited. Oh, very excited. And they're so bright and cheerful. I love them. So she sent me that package. And Deb sent me the package. And they both really made my day. 
Um, was not expecting that at all. Um, very blessed to have them in my life. Um, they, everyone kept on checking up on me to make sure I was okay. Um, very thoughtful. Um, it was a very long week and it's still continuing on, but I'm making it through. I can function as a human now a little bit. So yeah, we're getting there day by day. I think that's all I have for now. Oh, so much added. Now I got to put it all away. That's okay. I don't mind. Um, so thank you all for joining me. Remember to keep that yarn running through those fingers. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Mm -hmm.